Hi, what's up everyone, so guys I am back with another video about the best camera for beginners that you can buy on Amazon. If you want more interesting videos do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. This list is based on my personal opinion and research and lists them based on quality features and pricing. If you want more information and updated pricing on the products mentioned be sure to check the links in the description below. Photographers and videographers looking to upgrade from their smartphones to a dedicated camera may be perplexed by the sheer number of reasonably priced models on the market. These range from compact point and shoot cameras to more advanced mirrorless options and traditional style DSLRs, making it difficult to decide which path to take. Unfortunately, there is no single best camera for beginners, so it's critical to select a model that fits your ergonomic preferences, shooting habits, budget, and the type of content you want to create. Keep in mind that there is a sizable used camera market, and you can frequently find great deals on older models that make excellent starter cameras. I have prepared this video guide for the best camera for beginners. So let's get started. At number 3 is Sony Alpha 7R4 Full Frame. The Sony A7R4 combines a high-resolution 61MP back illuminated Exmor or CMOS image sensor with impressive shooting speeds of up to 10 FPS with full AF-A tracking, as well as beautiful 4K HDR video, a wide 15-stop dynamic range, and high sensitivity with almost a full-stop area-specific noise reduction. Exmor or 61MP full-frame 35mm back illuminated CMOS image sensor is the world's first. The product works with Final Cut Pro X and I. Movie. Continuous shooting at 61MP at up to 10 frames per second with A-AF tracking, 26. 2MP in APS-C crop mode. To cover a larger area, there are 567 phase detection AF points and 425 contrast AF points. Real-time tracking and eye tracking for humans, animals, and movies. At number 2 is Canon EOS M50. The Canon EOS M50 Mark II is the best digital camera for beginners on a budget. This entry-level mirrorless model, like most Canon cameras, has good ergonomics, with logically arranged controls and a highly intuitive menu system, though the camera's small grip can be uncomfortable to hold for long periods if you have large hands. It, like most mirrorless cameras, has an electronic viewfinder, which is ideal for beginning photographers because it allows you to preview your exposure adjustments before taking photos. The autofocus system on this camera is slightly improved over that on the older Canon EOS M50, as it now supports eye detection while recording video. It does a good job tracking moving objects and faces in still photography and performs admirably when video is used. Now moving to the last one is Z50DX format mirrorless. The Nikon Z50 is the best mirrorless camera for beginners that we've tested. This entry-level mirrorless camera has a relatively compact, lightweight body that is styled in the same way as a more traditional DSLR, but on a smaller scale. It has a deep hand grip and well-spaced controls that make it easy to use. Its menu system is also very user-friendly, and there's a built-in guide mode to help explain how different features work. Its tilting screen also makes photographing from unusual angles easier. While the battery life isn't particularly long, it does support USB charging while in use, which is useful if you have a mobile battery pack. This camera's 20.9 MP APS-C sensor has a lower resolution than some other options, but that doesn't mean it's any less capable. So guys this was the video about the best camera for beginners. All the links are given in the description, do check them out. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button, tell us in the comment section about which one you like the most and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you.